Sybil, 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 Happy Friday, Mr. Joyner, and happy Friday, Mr. William. No, no. Happy Friday, Mr. Tory. No, 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 no. Okay, so Damon couldn't make it this morning because he had to he had catch a flight, a flight catch. from Martha's Vineyard, the vineyard. where he wrapped up three weeks of shows. And uh, so in for Damon is Guy Tory from Houston, where he's playing at the Improv, uh, but he overslept, and now he's waiting on his Uber. Oh, dear God. Oh, yeah. You know he's in his feelings and he's going to be complaining. He's going to be gripe heavy he's, this morning. Oh, my morning. goodness. My goodness. Poor thing. And, and, we got a, and we got a lot of show, Sybil. Yeah, it's, a, it's about a 10, 15 pounder. In a four pound bag. Yes. Yeah, yes. we got a really big show. Including Sybil. At the bottom of the hour, we have a gender reveal from a baby that was conceived on the cruise. Have you ever been a part of a gender reveal? Before? No, have you? Okay. Yes, it's, and I've never done one on the radio before. Never. But, uh, this yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Twenty-five years at the time during the morning show. This will be our first gender reveal. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and the <laughs> and the baby was conceived on the cruise. It's a cruise baby. So, it's a cruise baby. And I think either way, boy, girl, you could name it <laughs> cruise. You could make it Tom or Thomasina. Uh huh. Uh huh. Make the little girl Thomasina. I'm sure she would love that. Oh oh oh. I, I'm sure the mother had that already. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, David. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Yeah, this is very exciting. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and then we got baby. Yeah. Then we got Michael Collier, <laughs> Chris Red, Chris Red from Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. Old uh. joke, old joke, Michael Collier. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's going to be a full show. It's going to be a full show. Yeah. Um L.A. Clippers. Kawhi Leonard, the new the, Kawhi the, the new Clippers with Kawhi Leonard. The new. I like what these basketball players are doing. Giving back is 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 the best, huh? Well, well that's what it's all about. So it's yesterday yesterday we announced that Russell, Russell Westbrook uh was teaching at-risk youth how to fly drones, mm -hmm. and L.A. Clippers' Kawhi Leonard gave away a million backpacks a to million. kids in need in Los Angeles. That's awesome. In his, at his, in, in his home. That is awesome. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's Meanwhile, something. Cardi B tried the same thing and cussed out everybody. Well, you know, <laughs> everybody doesn't have the same team. <laughs> you heard about okay, Cardi. Okay, Cardi. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cardi just, I, can't, just I, can't show up at the school. You need to. Well, she's, you know, like I said, she didn't have the same team. And so, you know, you got to have people around you, you that can make things happen. I mean, she cussed them people out. Yeah, well, that wasn't. For postponing because they didn't have enough security. <laughs> yeah. Um, but his, uh, but Kawhi. Working yeah. with the Los Angeles Clippers and it's a nonprofit called Baby to Baby, donating backpacks to students in Southern California. One million and it'll one million backpacks. All students from the Moreno Valley Unified, Inglewood Unified, and Los Angeles Unified School Districts. Mm -hmm. That is just so cool. That's great. That's yeah. great. And the first day of school. <laughs> Sybil Sarah Huckabee got a job with Fox. I am. so so, <laughs> so happy for her. Yes. You didn't think anybody would pick her up? I, I didn't. I really. I was really? hoping. But I knew that Fox was, was her home network because her daddy works there. Yeah. Or did. Yeah. And um, so I'm sure. So you Sarah know. Huckabee got a job with Fox. Yay. All right. Okay. All so right. the line continues. They found a million dollars in uncashed checks at Aretha's house. A million Tom. dollars in uncashed checks. What does that mean? And I know, uh, duh, she didn't cash the checks. I get that, but how does that happen for, for? Okay, okay. And and, and I I know the Aretha rule. I know, but this is I mean this is a conversation okay. worth having. This is not a joke. So no. yeah, we can talk about it. Um. <sighs> I think I understand it. Okay, so make us understand it. Okay. Because because in the 
We've had to pay Aretha, and we've always had to pay her in cash. Remember the, mm-hmm. <laughs> remember the Detroit show, the yes. Mistletoe Jam. Yes. <laughs> and Oscar had was running all over town, trying to trying to find enough cash to pay her to, for her performance. Yes, yes, yes. She <laughs> she preferred cash. Well, these checks came from uh, a publishing company. One was. Two hundred and eighty-six thousand dollars, right. and another one was from Sound Exchange and Screenwriters Guild for seven hundred and two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. So that's just under a million dollars, and it was a long time ago. But she didn't cash him. She liked cash. I know. And she wanted to be paid in cash. <sighs> and I'm sure the publishing company and the Screenwriters Guild said, "We don't pay in cash. Right. We pay in checks." And so she said, "I'm just not gonna cash them," or was it was it like, "Okay, Aretha, you have the check, but we will send you the money. Just don't cash the checks." No, just... no, no. They they wouldn't send cash, and she wouldn't cash the checks. I know, DJ, DJ, you're right about that, DJ. <laughs> but that doesn't. I know, I know, I know. So. <laughs> She refused to take anything but cash. <laughs> I have to take a sip of coffee on this because okay. because that's because she's the queen. I, I know, mm, okay. but somebody was there. Nobody who could say Aretha. No, Your Highness. No, 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 no. You can't tell. You can't tell the queen what to do. Mm. Now, DJ, that's not your business. Oh, okay. 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 <sighs> I knew her, and I'm not surprised that she had a million dollars in uncashed oh. checks. Simple. It's, I'm not surprised when, when I saw the headline. I said, mm, okay, <laughs> that doesn't. And the wills, and you know, yeah. How she, many different wills and handwritten and yeah, and, yeah. and 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 who do? You, yeah. There's a lot there. There's, There's a, a lot, and and I'm it's not easy being the queen, Sybil. You got to. You, I have to respect she, that. But, she is not. But, she is not an Tom, ordinary person, I know, Sybil. I know she, she was not. I know she was not. She, she was but, royalty. But even ordinary people and in and doing extraordinary things, putting the right people around you to make this machine run, like you have. This is what's important, and you got to know that. Okay. Well, the Otherwise, rules are not the same when you're the queen of soul, Sybil. <laughs> They're just not, you're not an ordinary person, and you don't have ordinary people around you. You have people around you that agree with everything you do, right or wrong. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want to stay with the, if you want to be around the queen, then you got you can't be going up to the queen and say, "Queen, you got to cash these checks." No, you can't do that because she the queen. You right about that, DJ. DJ, DJ, DJ. Bless your heart. Bring that back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love my queen. You know I love her. I do. Okay. And don't try to understand it. Just go with it. Okay. I'm going to need something stronger than this great coffee that <laughs> Anthony made this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Ten past the hour. TJMS.